I want you to be reminded how much God loves you and how much God really, really, really cares. I'm here to declare to you that God loves you, that God is for you, and that there is an open door, there's an open way to come back to Him. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all of that heart. God does not want bits and pieces of you. He wants all of you. God's going to begin to put you, give you answers. He'll visit you personally in His presence and the fullness of joy. And get in the presence of God and find out what's going to be ready at all times. Walk circumspectly. No walk is food. We're here to do what God is saying. And He said, if they will seek my faith, not a word, but an answer. Good morning, everyone. How are you today? I am your host, Apostle Shirley Horton. I pastor God's Way Ministry, and I'm also the founder of Nurturing Women, a women's ministry founded on Titus 2, 3 through 5. And I want to welcome each and every last one of you today to Comcast Channel 20 to do the right thing, which can be viewed every Sunday morning at 8 o'clock. And I ask that you tune in and be blessed and hear. I'm not the only speaker. That's what I'm trying to tell you today. I'm not the only speaker. So every Sunday at 8 o'clock, we have a different speaker. So I'm asking you to tune in and be blessed. Amen. And I just want to say before we get started, happy Valentine's Day to each and every last one of you. Because today is Valentine. That's the month of love. Amen. And we want to just bless you today. And I'm going to ask, uh, I have a co-host with me today. And you might recognize her from last uh, month when we were on. And I'm going to ask her to open us up with prayer. Amen. Amen. And this is Apostle Cheryl Lord, her and her husband, Pastor Comfort Ministries. Amen. Well, happy Valentine's Day. Let's just give this day to the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father God, for your love, Father God, for your comfort. We thank you, Father God, for the word, Father God, that you're getting ready to impart to your viewers, your listeners, oh God. We thank you, Father God, that this mm -hmm. word, Father God, will fall yes. on good ground, God, in our heart, God, so that we will know how to love, 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 and we bless your name, oh God. We lift up, Father God, the speakers, um, possibly. So Shirley and myself and we lift up our listeners yes. and we lift up this broadcast in Jesus name we thank you amen amen we thank God for that prayer because we can't do anything without prayer and acknowledging our Lord and Savior and since this is Valentine's time Sunday and this is the month of love and it's also black history month yeah and this is also about love amen and so we decided today with listening to the Holy Spirit, that we will minister about love today. Amen? Because that's something that with everything that's going on, I feel we are lacking. And sometimes we have to be reminded of what love is. And I'm going to read first um, Corinthians. I want to start with chapter 13. Amen? And then I'm going to sort of turn it over to Pastor Cheryl for a minute. And it says, starting at the first verse, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and I have not charity, which is love, it said, I am become as a sounding brass or a tingling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and I have not charity, it profited me nothing. Charity, which is love, suffer it long, it's kind, it's in, envy it not, it bonded not itself, it's not puffed up, it does not behave itself unseemly, and it seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, Think uh, and does not give an account of evil. It rejoiceth not in iniquity, which is unrighteousness, but it rejoiceth in the truth. Love bear it all things, believe it all things, hope it all things, and do it all things. Love never fail it, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. 
In other words, that means prophecy will be done away with. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. And whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish. For we know in part, we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I speak as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, a woman, I put away childless things. But now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part. But then shall I know even as also I am known. Amen. Love. So if you have any questions, read 1 Corinthians, that 13th chapter, starting at the first verse. Because it is a description of what God says is true love. Not the fake love, but true love. Love never fail it. And I'm going to be honest with you. I was, we were talking earlier. I've been guilty of every last one of them. I've done it all. I have done it all. But thanks be to God, I'm not the same person that I was, that I once was, working on it. Still got some ways to go. Every once in a while, something crop up, and I have to remind myself, Is this, am I acting out of my emotions, my feelings? Uh, is this really love? And that's the question we all need to ask ourselves. Pastor Cheryl Lloyd. And now I know, knowing you, I know you <laughs> I know you have you've done all of these things perfectly. Oh, I, know, no. I just know oh, you no. have. Oh no, God, no forbid. <laughs> but the thing is, I can't do any of it, Apostle Shirley, without yes. the source of love. And the word yes, says God is, is love. love. Amen. And guess what? In him there is That's no it darkness at all and so when I am in him yes. you know he helps me to refine his love that is within me so we have to ask you read yes. a wonderful wonderful description about how love behaves yes that's how it behaves yes, that's it, that's when it. we have, we're filled up, like, you know, with mm -hmm. God. And we're able to do those godlike right. things, you know. Mm -hmm. But what is love? You know, love is God. And I was asking the Lord, Lord, when is the first time you mentioned love in the scriptures? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and he said, um, uh, the first mention of love in the Old Testament okay. is Genesis 22 and 1. And it says, after these things, God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham. And he said, here I am. He said, take your son, your only son, whom you love, mm -hmm. and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there mm -hmm. as a burnt offering upon one of the mountains on which I tell you. So uh, we found out yes. that God's love is a sacrificial it is. love. Yes, it is. God's yes. love is a giving love. Mm -hmm. And guess what? God's love is going to challenge you. Yes. You know, it's going to challenge you. He said, I know you love that mm -hmm. son, mm -hmm. you know, but I'm asking you mm -hmm. to give him mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. And then I said, God, when was the first mention of love in the New Testament? And he gave me John 3, 16. And he said, for God so loved the world yes. that he gave his only begotten son yes, yes, that whosoever yes. believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So you see love, the source of love, mm -hmm. which is God, mm -hmm. it, it, it's a it's a sacrifice. God going to ask you and me That's and right. everybody That's to right. sacrifice. That's and if right. he could sacrifice his only son, yes. oh, there's about to be a sacrifice that he's going to ask from you. There's going to be, you're going to be, he's going to ask you to give That's something right. to him. And he's going right. to ask you to do it unconditionally. He said, I know you love all those things, you know, because mm -hmm. I made you. I know mm -hmm. you love this and mm -hmm. you love that mm -hmm. and you love candy mm -hmm. and you love your husband mm -hmm. and you know you love God but he said I'm gonna 
bless you unconditionally. Right. You know, no holes barred. Mm -hmm. I'm unconditionally. And so in order for us to love, like in Corinthians, Corinthians right. 13, like you had mm -hmm. mentioned, like that's how it behaves. Yes. Yes. We would have to have yes. the love of God. Yes. And yes. Um, that's called agape love. That's it. You know, that's, that's, it. The, that's the God greatest, kind of love. That's it. Agape mm -hmm. God kind of love. And there's that's like it. two other loves, like uh, Eros. Uh, Eros. And that's like the yeah. uh, uh, sensual, yeah. pleasurable. Yes. That's like yes. the love between a husband yes. and a wife. Yes. You yes. know, everybody can't have that kind no. of love, uh -uh. you know, uh -uh. legitimate. Right. I'll put it that way. That's right. between a husband and a wife. Right. And then finally the filial. filial. Yeah. And that is Friendship. the love between you and me. Yes. One another. Yes. Brotherly love. Yes. Family. Those kind of things. Yes. And so in order for us to show love in all those mm -hmm. areas, Apostle, mm -hmm. We have to have the love of God showing us, right? You know mm -hmm. how to do that mm -hmm. in order to, for Him to show us. We have to have a relationship mm -hmm. with Him Amen. in love. And you know, and I love uh, what you were just saying a few minutes ago. Love is a sacrifice, and we don't want to sacrifice no. anything, you know. And I'm gonna tell you, we what we actually call love is selfish. Yes. We are selfish. We want to turn it off and on like we turn on the water faucet. Yeah. Okay, if you treat me right, if you're doing good, mm -hmm. I love you. And then the minute you turn the yeah. curve and you do something mm -hmm. that I don't like, then all of a sudden I'm, I don't love you anymore. Mm -hmm. That's not the God kind of love. If God had done us the way we do one another, yes. we would not be sitting here today. Right. But God loved, he, like she read from John 3, 16, he loved us so much. And sometimes when I'm sitting there and I think about it, I said, God, you said even before I was formed in my mother's womb, he said, you say it. You knew me. I wasn't even thought about. Yes. That's before my mother, my father, they were even born. I said, you knew me. And, and not only that, he knew what I would do, what yes. I wouldn't do. He knew the times, just yes. like Peter, that I might, I would deny him. And I, uh, mm -hmm. either I chose him over my friends or whatever. He knew all of that. Yes. But I always go back. I said, but you saw this day. Mm -hmm. You saw the day that I would say, yes, Lord. You love me so much. You didn't take me when I was in my sins. Mm -hmm. You didn't take me when, I mean, hey, I was out here cursing and doing things that was so ungodly, so unrighteous. But because you saw this day, merciful. Yes, thank you. I'm telling you, merciful. We serve a merciful God. We serve a God. We can't even <laughs> comprehend his love. I remember praying once. He said, he was telling me how much he loved me, Pastor. Yes. And he was telling me, he said, you can't even comprehend yes. the love that I have for you. And we can't no. because we still, as mm -hmm. much as I say, as, as much as God has brought me to the place now where I sort of can understand that love and I can grasp that, that love, I still... There are still parts of me, we still cannot comprehend the love that God has for us. No, we can't. Apostle, this is, this is the scripture that gives me strength. That while we were yet sinners. That's it. That's it. While we were yet sinners. Even That's now, it. Christ died for us. us. Wow. Yes. Wow. What love. <laughs> That's it. What love. That's it. That's it. Because, you know, some of us, let's be honest, we wouldn't even die for our own children. Jesus. And we got <laughs> parents that sacrifice their children every day. Yes. There are religions mm -hmm. that they sacrifice their children. We yes. read it in the Bible where they would sacrifice their children to their idol yes. gods. Yes. Yes. But yet and still, God still died on that cross for that person. Yes, he did. Yes, and sometimes we look and we <laughs> want to say, dang. They need to they they need to burn in hell, you know. And we we have been there. Let's tell the truth. We've been there. But we wish somebody would burn in hell. But God is saying, I died for that person. And I know there's a scripture that said there is no sin without a cause. 
everything that we do that's right or wrong. There's a, there's a reason why. And sometimes, but you know what I love about God? He goes to the heart. He goes to the root of something. Where we want to cast people off mm -hmm. and throw them to the side. God is saying, uh-uh. I know they were abused when they were a child. Yes. Uh, they, they had to grow up on the streets. Mm -hmm. This is why they're so hard. This is why they're so evil. Because God knows the root of it. And yes. we don't want to, what it say, love is patient. Yes. And we, even as leaders, yes. even as pastors, we don't want to take the time with nobody. After a while, you done got on my nerves now. It's, it's time to move on. I got to work on that, that patience yes. a little bit more. Yes. Because sometimes you just keep on and keep yes. on and look like you ain't moving. My patience get a little worn out with you. But God knows, and thank God he had patience with me. Amen. And I'm sure he's had patience with he's you. Definitely, <laughs> he's definitely had <laughs> patience with me. And you know, um... When you think about it, love is giving. Yes, it is. You know? Yes, and, it is. And um, yes. one of the areas, I know I struggle with this in my life, mm -hmm. you know, as a, a, a born-again believer, I struggle with forgiveness. Yes. And uh, forgiveness is yes. just giving before, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. it, before the situation right. is changed. It's just, it's a sacrifice. Official thing. It's like, yes. you know what? I release you. I love you so much because God first forgave yes. me. Yes. And now he says that I forgiven you. Now you, I want you to forgive others. That's right. You know, That's right. and he forgave right. me and he keeps forgiving me as long as I'm asking him That's to. It. But God is like, I need my people to forgive. You know, yes. forgiveness, just make a decision. Yes. I know you got some hardness and bitterness mm -hmm. in your heart mm -hmm. yes. and offense in your heart. I know all about yes. you. Yes. I know all your inward parts. I know what's on your mind. Yes. I know Ooh, the, yes. tr the, the, the trials and tribulations yes. that yes. you uh, uh, face. Yes. But my word is still this. That's forgive. That's and I will That's help you it. as long as you want to forgive and see forgiveness I remember mm -hmm. God dealt with me mm -hmm. about forgiveness mm -hmm. you know I wanted to hold the people hostage yes. because of yes. what they had yes. done for me and God was like you know what mm -hmm. forgive them because they don't know what they've That's done right. to That's you right. That's you right. know That's and right. you are holding your own self captive That's and you truth. can't give if you caged up in your feelings and mm -hmm. your emotions and God mm -hmm. said I got enough love yes. that you I, you can overcome anything you know you can overcome and That's you right. can forgive That's you know right. you can release yourself because you holding yourself That's in right. bondage and so one of the greatest things that we can do for love is is to forgive and that really. is the truth that's the truth and it's one of the hardest things yeah, is to forgive. It is for us. Let's, let's just put it that way. It's one of the hardest things that there is because sometimes you feel justified. Yep. But just the being justified does not negate the word of the Lord. No. Nope. Because He's not going to change His word. That's one of the things we are required to do. It's not um, a choice. Mm -mm. It's a requirement, God, that we walk in love and that we walk in forgiveness. And as she brought in forget forgiveness, because if we don't forgive one another, he cannot forgive us. And as I always say, my children will tell you, I'll tell you in a minute, I'm not going to hell for nobody. <laughs> um, and to think, let me tell you something, just think, the very person that you hate so much, that you just can't seem to forgive, just Think about it. You leave here and you go to hell. They go to heaven. <laughs> and like you say, the majority of the time, the people that you just feel like, oh, I just can't love them. I just can't forgive them. And you think, you know, oh, okay, Lord, I, I just can't do it. Well, if you can't give it to him, allow him to make that heart yes. more pliable. Allow him to yes. do it. Because there have been times I said, Lord, I know what you're asking of me. 
But in other words, like they used to say, yeah. this is above my pay grade. <laughs> I, this, this right here, Lord, I can't because every time I put my heart out there, it's broken. Maybe you've been in that situation. Maybe you're in that situation right now. And you are watching this show. And I know we are talking to you. Maybe you said they've done too much. They killed my child, a, a, a family member. Lord, he's, he was abusive. I escaped maybe just by the skin of my teeth. And then you're asking me to love this person. You're asking me to forgive. Yes. No, God is asking you, allow me to love him through you. Allow me to forgive him through me. For you can't, I can. Yes. But all I need is your permission to do it. That you just be yes. willing to allow me to do it. And see if God won't come in. And see if yes. God won't change your heart and your attitude towards that person. Yes. And I'm a living witness, he will. Witness. I'm, a, I'm witness. a living witness. I've had, there been things, Lord, I want to, but I just can't. I couldn't. But I gave God permission. I said, Lord, I give you permission to love him through me. Forgive him through me. And believe you me, that's all God was wanted was our permission. Give him permission yes. today to love that person through you. Yeah. You know, we're trying to carry too much. Too much. That's the greater love. That's, that's thank the you. greater love. You know, thank the greatest you. of these things is, is love. And that, yes. that includes forgiving, like yes. letting it go. I'm telling you, I had a personal experience uh -huh. with forgiving someone that mm -hmm. I thought was responsible for my mother's death. Okay. And I harbored on that person. I blamed those people. And the Lord said to me, and he brought it to my uh -huh. attention. He uh -huh. showed me my heart. And he said, I want you to love this right. person, uh -huh. you know. And I said, well, Lord, I have. Yes. And I really yes. thought I had. Yes. And he showed me, no, you haven't because you still want them mm -hmm. to remember mm -hmm. that my mom mm -hmm. passed on his watch. You want him to remember. God was showing me That's, my heart. Yes. He yes. said, do yes. you want to forgive do you want to love and I said yes Lord and I'm telling you immediately when I said yes to the mm -hmm. Lord mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit came and he pulled the bitterness out he pulled yes. everything you yes. know and I know I wept I wept yes. I felt a release yes. you know and this yes. is true yes. and then I wanted to go find this person and I wanted to say I'm so yes, sorry yes, that yes, that happened. Yes. You know, God he don't he not playing. Yes, yes. <laughs> he really want to deliver us That's, yes, from those issues That's right. of life. We yes. have issues Ooh, yes. in life that he yes. wants to blow up and put them in antimony to get rid of them because he loves That's us. It. And he wants That's us it. to love him. And he wants us to love one another. Amen. Even sacrificially. Amen. 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 And amen. And I want to just tell you, you are looking at two people right here. That we are not just talking something we heard. This is something we have lived through. We have both lived it. And so I'm saying to you today, give it to the Lord. Let him have it. One of the scriptures in 1 John 4 and 7, real quick. Say, beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God. And everyone that love it is born of God yes. and knoweth God. The eighth verse says, he that loveth not, knoweth not God. For God is love. I don't care how many songs you sing. I don't care how you prophesy. I don't care how you preach. I don't care how well known they how well known you are throughout the land or whatever. I don't care what your status is. It does not amount to anything if the love of God is not in your heart. If your character is wicked, if you're unjust because God says in his word. Now this is not Cheryl's word. This is not Pastor Cheryl's word. He that loveth not knoweth not God. Yeah. You can talk of him all you want to. 
You can talk about him all you want to. But do you know it? Because if you don't have the love of God shed abroad in your heart and in your mind by Christ Jesus, you don't know it. And God is asking you today, balance time day. <laughs> when all you're going to be giving away, boxes of hard candy and all of that. But God is looking at this heart. This heart. This heart that lies within you. And he's saying, will you give it to me? Will you surrender all to me? So today. On Valentine's Day, if you do not know Jesus in the pardon of your sins, if you really want to lighten the load today, I'm at Pastor Cheryl. Yeah. When you lead someone, lead them to the Lord. Yes. God is here. God is with you, and all God is already summoning you. He's already giving you a word, yes. and He says that just accept His Son Jesus Christ. By the confession of your faith in Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ forgave you. He died on the cross for you. And God raised him from the dead. And if you can believe that in your heart wholeheartedly. He said you are saved. Yes. You are in the family of God. It's a free gift for you. And all you have to do is take that gift of Jesus Christ. Because that is life. And that is life abundantly amen, amen and amen and if you prayed that prayer jesus heard you you're saved and now find you get in the word read the word know the word for yourself most important get to know jesus yes. for yourself get in a good church get around people that are strong in the lord that know him that can teach you and train and equip you in the ways of the lord and so pastor Cheryl and i just want to say unto you today we have enjoyed being here today to be an yes. instrument for the Lord. Oh, Hallelujah. I can't tell you. We, we enjoy this. <laughs> we enjoy this. So be blessed today on this Valentine's Day. Regardless of how many boxes of candy you get, rend your heart, not yes. your garments. Amen. Amen. Let God take out that old stony heart and give yes. you a heart of flesh today. Yes. So until we meet again. Do, do the, the right, right thing. thing. I love amen. you, Pastor and I love Shirley. You. <laughs> amen. Amen. <laughs>